<clears throat> Alright guys, this is Slipstream here and I'm back with another video. This is the DC Universe 75 Superpower Cyclotron. And I am not going to lie to you guys. He looks like a member of the village people. For those of you old enough to remember that. But he's so good. He's so good. I talk a lot about DC going in the right direction. And with this guy, the dark side I reviewed, Power Girl, that review I did, they're going in the right direction with this guy. With, with, the, with their toys. Because for a lot of you that don't know, <clears throat> DC, they don't have one line of, of toys that make toys. Like the Marvel Legends. Like Marvel has the Marvel Legends. And they release a lot of their figures either under the Marvel Legends banner or the Diamond Select banner. And those are the two flagships. I'm not saying that they don't do other things, but those are the two main flagships. With DC, there's hundreds of different titles and ways that they release characters and like they just recently came out with dc icons there's dc universe there's dc unlimited there's dc this there's dc that they don't have just one developer and whereas that's cool for collectors like me that gives us variety it's also bad because they're not the same and it's a mixed bag and if you have a toy developer that's working for DC that gives you a really, really good set, and then they switch to, they switch makers and then never do it the same way. They never do it the same way twice. But this is the DC Universe guy. And this dude, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this guy's costume. It's, there's a lot going on. And I'm just, it has nothing, it doesn't reflect negatively on the figure, because I love this guy, but there's a lot of stuff going on with the this here, and uh, the helmet, and um, he's kind of got that, uh, there's a lot going on. Um, this, is, this is a character that they retconned. Originally, he was a villain that fought the, I don't want to say the Justice League, but he fought either the Justice League or the Justice Society. He's one of those characters. But originally he was a villain. And he was very similar to Radioactive Man from Marvel. Very similar to that. But then they retconned him later on and made him a android that Superman programmed all of the hero's strengths and weaknesses into. Not to make him bad, but to make him a brilliant, to make him a more better tactician. He was supposed to be the greatest tactician on the planet, and that's what Superman designed him for. <clears throat> but that being said, let's... Uh, actually, you know what? A little bit more about his abilities. After they wreck, well, in before the retcon, he could channel radiation and shoot it into a concentrated and shoot it into a concentrated beam. With this rendition of Cyclotron. He, aside from having the vast knowledge of the hero's strengths and weaknesses, heroes and villains, excuse me, heroes and villains, strength and weaknesses, he's actually not that tough. And it's specifically said that he's not particularly that powerful. The thing, the, the reason why they call him Cyclotron in this rendition of him is because of this gyro punch that he can do. He can, I guess he can rotate his body very similar to the Flash villain in the top and deliver a devastating punch. But other than that, from what I've read of him, he's not a very strong combatant. In this version, in this version, I'm not talking about the, the previous version, but in this version, he's not a very powerful combatant. But on to the review. Now, like I said, I like this guy a lot. <clears throat> Some people may dislike the um, the the pivots and the twists and the joints and things like that. Me, I like it because it gives this figure a better range of motion. And for me, I will take that. I will take range of motion over aesthetics a lot of the time because I do toy photography and I need figures to look good. 
I need them to look good, but I also need them to have motion. Because that's what makes my that's what makes my photos look good. Can they move? That's really what I look for now in figures is are they functional? But starting with the arms, um, Cyclotron's arm goes around 360. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> this is another guy that I got at the same convention I got Mary Marvel from that review. This guy was in a pack. This guy was in the box. Like, he was in the plastic. So his joints are super tight, which I love, which I absolutely love. And he's still new. Because he hasn't been opened, he hasn't been played with. He hasn't been used. So he's still fresh, he's still new. But his arm goes around 360. He has a um, bicep swivel, which is hindered by the back here. But he can do it. He has a single elbow joint. And he doesn't have a forearm twist, but he does have a uh, wrist twist. See, <clears throat> I would like every DC figure to be designed like this. Because this gives me what I want. He has a uh, ab crunch that goes forward just a little bit, not that much. And he goes back. Not bad, not bad. Um, he also has a head that's on a 360 ball joint. Same thing with the other arm. Goes around 360. Same uh, bicep swivel. Oh, this one goes around more. Huh. No forearm. We got a wrist swivel here. And he also has a waist twist. Hence the cyclotron thing. He's supposed to spin and punch. That's what he's supposed to do. But I could see people, like once we get past, once we get past the waist and we go down, I could see people complaining about this. I like these. Yes, it breaks up the continuity of the figure. Yes, it does. But it gives me functionality and that's what I want. I would rather have this be able to do that than nothing, than just this, back and forth. Old toys used to be like that, and I get no use out of that. But <clears throat> that being said, his leg can go forward to a pretty nice degree, and it can go back to a pretty nice, well, I don't know if it's a pretty nice degree, but I think it's accurate for the type of character that it is. If this was Spider-Man, this would be a problem. But it's not Spider-Man, it's Cyclotron. Um, he has a single knee joint. Oh yeah, by the way, he has single elbow joints. Not double. Which I like, me personally. Because it's not so many like... It's not so many like kibbles and bits that could break down over time. This is Instead of having two small little pegs here, it's one big one. And I am okay with that. Uh, he has a lower thigh swivel, which would, which could, I could see that bothering people too, because it's like, he looks fine, breaks up the continuity, but to me, I want functionality. Uh, his foot can go back to a pretty extreme degree, which is nice, and it goes, you know, eh, moderate, it's pretty good, pretty good. Cool thing too, they painted the bottom of the shoe, look at that. Pretty sweet. Same thing with the other leg. Um, goes out to a pretty extreme degree. Goes forward. Goes back. Same deal. Now let's get into the detail because I feel like I'm going away. In my last video, I didn't really go into too much detail about the aesthetics of the character. Um, this guy... <laughs> the design of the suit is something to be desired. Hey, the figure is great. I like this thing. But the helmet with the glasses, this open chest area here, the green is painted very nicely and the green is painted very nicely. Um, the yellow looks good. It gets a little crazy up here with the paint. But, you know, the helmet has, like, the helmet has, it's green, but it's not the same kind of green as this and this. 
it sort of has like this glittery sort of uh, finish to it, which at first glance, you don't even notice at first glance until you really, really start looking at it. But to me, like I've said before, I like buying figures with functionality. And whereas before I bought this guy, I had no idea who Cyclotron was. I had no idea. I bought him because he's a functional figure and I thought he looked cool. Aside from certain costume uh, choices, I thought he looked cool and he's a great figure for taking photos of. And that's what I like. He doesn't, he would just, with the way his costume is designed, he doesn't have a bunch of bits and pieces that get in the, that gets in his way and hinders his movement, which is really, really nice. Um, if you, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to rephrase this. If you are an old school fan and you know who Cyclotron is, if you're an old school fan, I say pick this guy up. If you're a new fan and you don't, if you have no idea who this guy is, I would say, You know, I would say pick him up anyway. He's a solid figure. He really is. Um, I don't know if a lot of newer fans would be able to get past this guy's costume. <laughs> but it's not a problem for me. Um, you know, I sort of dig the old school look. Because that's this is how, you know, he looks like, to me, he sort of looks like a member of the New Gods. If any of you know who that is. He looks like he is in the same ilk as them. And he flows in perfectly with them. Maybe not with modern heroes, with the way their suits are. With a lot of the straps and bells and whistles. But he's a throwback hero. He's a throwback character. And he looks as such. And if they haven't updated him, this is what he looks like. And like I said, I can dig that. So, I mean, if you're a new fan and you want a functional figure that, you know, looks good. That can get you to where you want to go if you do toy photography. Or even if you just want a rare figure. Because I don't see... I think I've seen two... Of this guy online, this one and another one. This is a rare, I mean, he's a rare figure. I'm not talking about monetarily. I'm talking about as far as like rarity of characters that you don't see around. Because amongst all of the hundreds and thousands of Batman and Superman figures, how often have you ever seen this guy? Probably never. So, I mean, if you're a new fan, if you're an old school fan, I say... You know, just save that money that you were probably going to buy another Batman figure with and just pick this guy up. He's super cheap. You know, Batman and Superman figures, they're going to be there. They're not going anywhere. You know, they're going to be coming out with one every, what, month or something, however they do it. But I give this guy a pat. I give this guy a, a, a thumbs up. So if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, pick this guy up. And until then, follow the slipstream.